Yeah, here's another injector repair. This one from Ernie's Carpet Care. Joy and Ernie. Joy's a real sweet lady. Helps her husband out. Uh, she calls having problems getting the brass tube removed from the injector block like a lot of us do. I told her don't worry about it. If it doesn't come out pretty easily, just box it up and send it. And I probably used the wrong word because sure enough, she used the box. Um, it's okay. You know, it didn't require a big box. She could have used this uh, flat rate envelope. All this would have fit in there, no problem. But, and saved her a little money, but she wrote me this nice letter on her own padded envelope. She wants credit for a glide she's sending back, no problem. And she wants me to repair six injector blocks. Ernie's Carpet Care. And that's Joy talking, real sweet lady. Anyway, like here's the, the handle assembly. I can install these for you guys if you want. It's up to you. I usually take a picture somewhere during the work and let you guide me on what you want to do. Uh, but these three are going to need the uh, pipe wrench trick. If you guys don't have a pipe wrench, you might as well just leave them connected, send them in, and I'll take care of that part for you. She's going to want the new foam sleeves for sure. I think she told me that. Anyway, I'll uh, get busy cleaning these up and get back to you. Okay, here's one from Montverde, Florida, Master Dry. Sent in his, his injectors for repair. This guy's bought from me before, so we'll probably get to see one or two of my uh, lifetime stainless injectors in here. Okay, he sent uh, somewhat the right envelope. The cardboard, I don't really like it as much as the padded envelope, but it got here in one piece. I just cut this with scissors so he could get in here quick. Okay, so here's his package. Now this was really smart. The Tyvek envelope, you can't really open it. You can't tear it. Indestructo. So we'll just cut it. Let's see what we got. Okay, I don't see any of mine. Oh shoot. I know he's bought several. So I think what he said was he was just going to send me what he had other than mine, I guess is what we were doing here, and get them fixed. So this is beautiful. He managed to get the brass tube out of the back. That one's still got a, a beat up brass nozzle bushing, plastic washer. That one's beat up. Oh man, look at that. I don't know if you can see in there, but if you can see that big of a hole, it's blown out. I don't know, boy, I wish you guys could see the difference in the hole size in these two. But uh, I guarantee you these are going to draw differently just because of that. So, you know, so many guys get hung up on the, the 8 to 1, 9 to 1, 4 to 1. You know, is it going to draw correctly? Uh, you know, a lot depends on the injector block itself. That's why we're going stainless. They last longer. They're going to be giving you more consistent dilution ratios for a longer period of time than brass. Every one of these is brass. Every one of these is going to need a stainless nozzle bushing, a new washer in the back, and obviously a new draw tube. Jim, the guy that sent these to me, he's got my other one so he knows. Look at here. Here's two where the ball is probably stuck. I still don't know how to get those out, guys. Anyone, anybody want to help me? figure that out. I don't know how to do it. But here's here's three we can save. I'm going to clean them all up. We'll see if we can get these balls out. Might be able to save all five. That's what he wants, right? Let's get them all saved that we can. The ones we can't, we'll replace them with the stainless version. And then he'll have a whole bunch of backups back at his shop. He's got at least five vans, so these are going to be back in service as soon as he gets them as backups, which is what everybody needs. Every truck needs a good working unit and then one as a backup. So let me clean these up and we'll get back to you. Okay, here we are with Joy's injectors. Um, I was able to get five of the six nozzle bushings out, uh, but this sixth one's giving me a little trouble. So I'm gonna use a little easy out tool. Simply uh, get like a small drill bit, number six or whatever. A little of the uh, little tub of silicone on there works really good with drill presses. 
and we're going to drill down. I've already done it. I'm just going through the steps to show you how to do it, or just how I do it. But if, when it's stuck, you can't get it out with the big paper clip. I use this drill bit just to enlarge the hole, and then I use one of these easy outs. This, I think this is a 164th, but the tip's broken off a long time ago. So I have to use that drill bit to enlarge it, which is probably best because now I've gotten hundreds out this way. Tap it, it should turn counterclockwise a little bit as you uh, hammer down. We're trying to get those threads to grab. And you'll probably feel the nozzle bushing turning, so that's not working in our hat in our behalf, but it's still it's set so I should be able to just pull up yeah there you go and here comes the nozzle bushing all right and then of course turn it clockwise to break it loose from the easy out tool so there you go there's a, a brass nozzle bushing and I'm going back in with all stainless on all six of these so I'll check back in here in a minute okay we're done here we got three that worked two not working too good this one i couldn't fix at all because of that stuck ball this one just didn't flow very good so we're going to send it back to him we like to put the used parts in a baggie and send them back so you guys can see we tried here's all his brass nozzle bushings and such so there's his used parts these three we got to work in called him he said go ahead and give me new ones to replace the bad ones and here we go envelopes the way you're supposed to do it the, the Tyvek envelope guys works really good just drop them in there and then here's the two good ones all these tested out they all got the the uh, quick change adapter on them good durable draw tube stainless nozzle bushing so he's all set. He's got five. He told me these are going to be backups, which is great. So now he's got five backups to hold him along with the ones that are currently working for him. That's what you want. Quick change adapter, several that you can swap out to. He told me he's probably not going to have to send me any more for a while because this is going to hold him which is just what we want. You slip all this into the padded flat rate envelope. This guy here, super durable, rugged. You can't puncture this stuff, tear it, rip it, anything. Do this, I'm gonna charge him seven bucks to get it back to him. And again, my average is right around 12 bucks each to repair, which is what he's gonna be looking at for the three I repaired. The three that I replaced are 43 bucks each. Remember, he didn't send me the white cap because he's already got those. He'll have to remove the draw tube and put his own cap on and then screw the draw tube on. And one of the mistakes you guys make is you don't get this tight. You got to put some pliers on this, even though it's a knurled knob, it's not hand tightened. It needs to have the pliers put on it. Otherwise, you're going to get a little air leak and it won't draw. So there you go. He said he's got plenty of his own uh, handle assemblies. So we're just sending him this along with the quick change adapter. He'll be able to quickly swap out any injector that's not working right. Okay. Thanks, Jim. Master Dry in Mont Verde, Florida for letting us use you as an example of how this should work. All you guys should hang on to the bad ones that aren't working for you, put them in a can, send them to me once a year, once a year and a half. We'll keep them working for you. You'll never have to buy a new injection sprayer unless you want to. Okay.